This is Jennifer Jones reporting for Citizen Really, and I'm here with Derek Mackay, who's a Scottish Government Minister, and we're at the Community Empowerment uh, Renewal Bill launch in Maryhill um, Community Centre. How are you doing, Derek? I'm very well. Thanks. Um, so, can you just tell me a little bit about um, what is actually happening today and sort of the things that we envisage this bill to be? Well, today we're launching the consultation in the Community Empowerment and Renewal Bill, uh, which is a bill which is uh, designed to empower local communities. Uh, we're exploring options as to how we could make things work better in communities taking control of unused or underused assets, expanding on the uh, right to buy, extending it to an urban situation from the uh, rural uh, right to buy, uh, looking at participative, uh, participative uh, democracy, that's easy for me to say, <laughs> uh, where local communities can be involved in uh, local decision making and indeed challenge the public sector where they think things aren't working so well. Some other aspects of the bill would include uh, common good assets, that's uh, assets of that local communities have inherited or, or, or the law around allotment. So we're looking at defining and supporting the law to further enhance and empower local communities going forward. So you're the bill should be in place by 2014, which kind of follows into the sort of big events that are happening in Scotland around that time. How do you envision um, what, I mean, how do you envision it to look in 2014? Well, we don't require the law uh, to be in place at the moment. Uh, to be able to have community transfers, community events, or community consultation and participation. That's all going on, uh, but what this bill could do is further enhance and deliver a step change in that kind of engagement, make it more meaningful and empower communities, for example. Right now, a community would have to wait for a, an asset to be disposed of before it could really show an interest in acquiring it from the public sector. This will turn it around, potentially, and give the local community the right to request the transfer of that facility or that asset. So that's a completely different way of doing things. But what this could do is generate interest and enthusiasm for community action, local-led, organic community action, which could be quite inspirational moving forward to 2014, the Commonwealth Games, which we hope to uh, uh, revitalise many parts of the community attached to the Commonwealth Games. This could give some of the assets uh, that could help achieve that. I mean, I think it's, it's really exciting that there was an event that could be the catalyst that we can work towards. Um, so in two days' time, the torch arrives in Scotland for the Olympic Games. Do you know much about what's going to be happening um, in, your, in, in Scotland about it or any way that you can participate? In the ministerial capacity, I'll be involved in an event at the end of this week. The Olympic torch will travel through Scotland. I think it will generate a lot of interest and plant the seeds for the Commonwealth Games when people think they want to be part of it, whether that's healthier lifestyles, whether that's supporting the event, or whether that's just celebrating Scotland in uh, Glasgow in Scotland 2014. It's the beginning of a really exciting period in Scotland's history uh, because there's other big events in 2014 as well, and one, of course, being the referendum on Scotland's future. Well, this is exciting stuff. Thanks so much for talking to me today, and I uh, look forward to hearing more about the bill at the press conference. Thank you.